Hey yeah, folks, going to H here, here with my Monster Hunter, where I'm doing the mission where we uh, finally meet Devil Joe. And, you know, we gotta save the uh, dumbass handler that. Bitch, I hope you die here. In all honesty, every. The bitch saves you like once, but after that, she just gets herself in all these suicidal situations, which you gotta save her ass from. She's fucking useless, I swear. And I hope to god the devil Joe fucking eats you. Eats you fucking whole and I never have to worry about saving your dumb ass again. I hate her with a passion soon she's basically a damsel in distress but instead of just being captured or some shit, she puts herself in this situation. Really, you found a mushroom. Good for you, there's a devil joke running around here. I'm hoping you die. That's fucking... This bitch is dumb. She's suicidal. Please, kill yourself. Or die, at least. Nobody fucking likes you. Oh, this poison? I don't know. Here, let me eat it. Fucking, this dumbass. Hey, bitch, how about you, uh, you know, get off of it? Maybe? And there's Devil Joe. Look at the beauty. Look at this dumb bitch. Instead of trying to, you know, she when she gets on it, instead of trying to jump off, she'll fucking hold on. Good. It fucking does. <laughs> you do something. <laughs> You're joking, right? You can't do anything. Hell, Austin. You can't do anything fucking right. All you gotta do is sit in fucking camp and you'll look pretty. You can't even manage that, you dumbass. Bitch, I don't want to be your partner. I'm amazed I've kept you alive this long. In all honesty, I probably would have let you die after all this dumb shit you fucking do. Hey, dude, you got me here fucking having to fight the world eater. You think I'm lying? I'm pretty sure that's... I don't know. I heard that somewhere, but that's a fucking nickname for that. Pretty sure... Yeah, that's a nickname for Devil. The fucking world eater. And this dumb bitch thinks it's fucking okay to keep getting herself caught in shit like this. By the way, you think it acts like this normally knows because that dumb bitch is on it. Hey, looks like he got pissed off. You know what that means? I get fucking ass fucked because this is dumb bitch. If there are any of you out there who actually like that dumb bitch, fucking... Uh, your taste of women must be awful. Because honestly, I only helped this bitch through a few missions and I wanted her dead so badly throughout all of them. I didn't even want to do this mission. But I have to in order to be able to actually go and help other people on missions like this. Get to the multiplayer aspect so I can farm up, you know, materials so I can build more Devil Joe weapons. I got the complete armor set. I'm just trying to build up some weapons now. Got like three. There's a few more weapons I want to try out, and I want the Devil Joe a version of them. Could you just die, please? And honestly, handler. Everybody just when they fucking see you're on a mission, 
after, you know, the first few are just like, oh dear god. Eat her! Eat her now! Bitch, the Devil Joe is not a pickle. Oh, now I can? Jesus fucking Christ, I'm using it too. I'm not fighting this thing alone. Now you can see the full fucking force of this thing. There's a reason I'm using a ranged weapon. There's a tip about the Devil Joe. They made it to where this thing has so much goddamn AoE attacks. And they're so fast too. It's got a lot of fast AoE attacks that involve hitting you and knocking you away from it. In my honest opinion, melee is a very fucking hard option against this dude. That's just me though, but uh, yeah. Pretty sure it's got three to four AoE attacks that will either stagger you or knock you away. I didn't realize I had these equipped. I'm not looking forward to having to find a tempered Devil Joe. By the way, tempered fucking upgraded version of this. And there are like two other versions I've heard of. Savage and a savage and a fucking starved Devil Joe. And the starved one's powerful. That doesn't make any sense. That's how insane this thing is. You starve it, it's more powerful than a fucking normal Devil Joe. You cannot tell me this thing isn't terrifying. I love the death out of it, because look how awesome that fucking thing is. Like, alright, so I've heard that that thing loses so many teeth that, uh, the things, you know, on its upper lip are actually teeth. And they fucking rotate into the mouth because it loses them that often. This thing is the only monster that can actually take on an Elder Dragon without being an Elder Dragon itself. And Elder Dragons are like one of the most powerful fucking things you'll find. Like, you know, these things in nature will fight anything, including themselves. Legit, you think I'm lying? They'll eat each other. These things are cannibalistic. And when they eat another Devil Joe, another Devil Joe, it'll actually turn into a can oh, savage, which is strong. It'll also eat its own tail if you cut it off. It, it it's really fucking. It don't give two shits. I, like I heard somewhere, a starved Devil Joe is more powerful than a goddamn savage Devil Joe. Like, you saw what they did at Jagras. The only ones who don't get, you know, tossed around like Chew Toys, Elder Dragons, and Flying Monsters. Anything else, even in fucking, uh, what's its face? Uh, Oregon or whatever. Yeah, it'll toss that around like a fucking Chew Toy. It gives no fucks what you are. Basil Geese is the only monster that doesn't get fucked up by, you know, by Devil Joe. That's because it explodes its mouth. Because Devil Joe tries to bite that fucker by the throat, and just Bowser Geese scales are the only reason it doesn't get fucked up. Is this thing pissed off? Yeah, it is. So when it's pissed, you can see markings of previous battles with other monsters. This thing's got the proof that it does not give two fucks about what you are. More importantly, it is my question to this thing is, how the hell do they mate? All these things know is killing, death, and destruction. How the hell do they have time to settle down, fuck, and then raise a family? Like, I was watching another YouTuber brought that up, and I even found that curious. Like, in my honest opinion, I think the uh, females are a lot stronger than the males in the sense they gotta fucking take the males down. Hear that, or, you know how, like, fish are when they'll put the eggs down and then the, you know, they do that? 
another theory of mine. It's either one of the two. Because I know for a fact that uh, Devil Joke can't stay around to raise children. It'll eat them. You want to know something interesting about the tail? Not only does it use it to, uh, you know, swipe you away, that's actually its way of keeping balance. Because of all the mass up front of it and how powerful its attacks are in the front, it uses that as a, like, balance, to, you know, uh, as a counterweight. Because I'm pretty sure if this thing didn't have that, it would go, f like, if it ran at you, it'd just go face first to the ground. Because how powerful its attacks are in fucking just... This thing is so fucking... I honestly love it. The way it's designed and everything, and the way it fucking acts, it's just perfect. I still don't, I still don't see the imagery between uh, Devil Joe and a Pickle. Apparently that exists, but uh, honestly, Devil Joe's like... Mm. I cannot get over that thing. Honestly, love it. Between Naragante and that, I probably couldn't decide which one I'd rather have a pet. Like, as a pet or just fuck them out, right? I, I just don't know. My opinion, Naragante and uh, Devil Joe right now are my two favorite top monsters. Just by the way they fucking look. Cause that's awesome. And one thing being, uh, Devil Joe puts a lot more fear into me than a Nergigante ever will. And I'm wet. I fought a Nergigante. I fought a few times how I got the armor. But, uh... In my honest opinion, less terrifying than actually fighting a Devil Joe. Uh oh. Jesus. Fucker did not let up on me. Devil Joe is quite a powerful beast. Even when mounted, this dude will still fuck players up. Actually, the thing's so powerful, get this. You put it in a pitfall trap, it'll still try to attack players. The, the, it proves how little fucks this thing gives about being trapped. Oh, using the, I think it was the uh, Switchblade. Actually, one of the f uh, you know things I use. Yeah, that's Switchblade. Poison type. The only reason I know is because of the color. Yeah. Devil Joe, though? Fast as an or Oregon, I think is what it's called. Which, that monster uses its speed to try to get behind you and fuck you up. Just. I cannot get over how powerful, like, in nature, how did this thing get the genes to fucking become what it is? I would honestly be terrified to meet this thing's ancestors. Because you'd have to think, for something this powerful now, what, like, was the previous version? Like, what monsters fucked to birth this? Because there's no way these things were just outright there, or else there'd be nothing fucking standing. But you gotta think, what evolutionary path did this thing TAKE to become what it is? Like, in what environments was this thing raised in to become that? Yeah. 
that's one thing you gotta take into consideration. This thing just wasn't born out right this. You gotta think of the environment these things are originally come from. And that just amazes me something like that can, you know, survive. Like I would not want to be in the environment this thing was raised in. Because I doubt I so I doubt any human could probably be survive that. How tough this thing is in fucking nature. Uh oh. This dude's fucking stunning me. Run away, run away. This monster will always never cease to a fucking maze me on some of the things it's capable of. Look at that fucking leg strength. I think it probably jumped you from if you're all the way across the map. And them thighs. Yeah. I would fuck the shit out of a devil, not gonna lie. Even though that'd be suicidal, it'd be worth it. I feel. <laughs> Jelador and Ergante. Top two monsters I want to fuck. Don't question me. Save yourself the time and do not question why or how I would plan to. Just know I'm going to find a way. Is it limping? Because I want to capture this. like it. Elder Dragons are the only monsters you can't capture. So, in hindsight, I want to capture this thing. Just look at the weapon though it drops. It looks like it's still fucking alive. Like, I don't know, with the Nergante weapons, I always feel like they're still fucking alive. Not the Nergante, the uh, Devil Joe, sorry. It's just a thing with me though. Anytime I'm using them, I always feel like it's still fucking alive. Like it's a weapon that's still living. Because the Devil Joe just fucking refuses to die. That thing terrifies me considering just it's. Just it being in an ecosystem, it'll fucking destroy the entire ecosystem. Just it being there. These things are goddamn amazing. I would honestly love to see what monster was fucked in order to create Devil Joe. Nothing like this is born outright. But this thing's size is also pretty intelligent. Using its own teeth to uh, help pick up rocks and chunk them at targets it can't reach. Awesome. You should see some of the turf where this thing has. Like, when it comes to flying monsters, this fucker, like, they'll get on its back and try clawing it. This fucker will legit reach around, grab them by the neck, and just slam them to the ground. You should see what he does to, a uh, Diablos. Like, he'll legitly have the Diablos charge him, grab him by his head. Well, I think by one of his horns. And just completely fucking body him. I go grab him, lift him up, and just straight up fucking completely slam him. It's awesome and also terrifying to watch considering that's how powerful this thing is. 
It'll lift the entire fucker above its own head and just slam it. Oh, so the thing's got an insane fucking hang. Got an insane uh, hitbox. I don't know, I'm getting, I'm getting like a fucking nerd boner over here, over fucking Devil Joe. I'm hoping they'll release some new more, some more new monsters. Like, what about that one? There was like a dragon that, uh, like, you know, had these, like, uh, black scales or whatever, I don't remember his name. Maybe we'll bring that in. And that's like a normal encounter, but it's another elder dragon or something like that. And the normal encounter would be a possibility of running into a, you know, stronger version of normal monsters. Like the thing would be, because I heard this thing could not see actually. It had very poor vision, so it would use these little hairs and scales that would deploy to uh, help it see. But also anybody who uh, happened to breathe it in would become very powerful, but uh, more vulnerable. And this is somehow found a way to make the uh, little virus they had theirs. Hey, dude, that thing was so powerful, it took certain weapons. Just the virus alone took certain weapons to kill the monster you're fighting. Fucking Devil Joe on that, Jesus. There'd be no stopping it. Ow. Ah. Owie. Oh, you got bit smacked me again. I can't have a curiosity. I, I don't know. I'm curious, because I'm pretty sure this would be a male. I'm pretty... I wonder what a uh, female devil girl would look like. Hmm. Ah, shit. <sighs> this fight can be a pain in the ass. I can't be the only one out there that wants to fuck a Devil Joe. Or Nurigante. Can't be that one, right? And 12 seconds later. Yeah, you're the only one, bro. I have no healing. I really gotta farm a healing box. Herp, herp, herp. The fuck is that? Never mind. I need to go farm up herbs and honey. Mm. I guess you're about to see a turf warp. What this fucking thing does to others. Are you see? Look at this. It's using it like a chew toy. It, the fucking nerd, this thing does not give a shit who you are or what you are. You're a chew toy to it. Goddamn monster roars. Fucking killed. Poisoned. Oh. Oh, 
Everybody better fucking die. I'm repeating this shit. Not great. Oh yeah, we lost the dude, great. Just go down, please. It's head and its stomach are weak points. This one, I'm just trying to keep out of the sky. All right, it's a little tired. I don't want to fuck with the devil considering just being around it pisses it off. By the way, it glows red because it gets his blood boiling. That's where it gets... Oh, that's a death marker coming off it. It's ready to get captured. Hate it when they get in fucking screaming matches like that. All right, gotta get some fucking distant. Don't do that dive bullshit. Yes. All right, one hit for capture monsters I've seen. Uh, keep an eye out for. Uh, that the little all right if you look on your map sometimes there'll be a little skull coming off of it and when that's a little skull that means it can be captured you have no idea how hard it is to fucking capture <laughs> try keeping also keep an eye out for limping devil joe hard to see i think it's got to be in a normal state for it to have a limp but yeah i'm taking all the stuff it gives Let's see what we got. Not nice a fire uh fire resistance. <sighs> Guess I can help other people with this mission now. Hmm. I guess this dude got a lot. Just mm, Jesus. <sighs> Thank god I keep it paid attention to the fucking skulls. Because we've been fighting that thing for a good bit, but have the chance to die at the first of the mission. That was way to fire an SOS flare too. I do not fuck. Anyways, yeah, I'll kind of uh, give you a glimpse on what the fuck Devil Joe uh, <coughs> weaponry looks like. Any kind of, and uh, yeah, I, tell me all you want, but I'm never gonna stop thinking that stuff does not look like it's still fucking alive. Considering this is what I'm going for next, uh, where is it? Longsword. Look, look at this. That shit still looks alive to me. I'm planning to. I'm planning to try it out. <laughs> and personally, I just want to get all the Devil Joe uh, weaponry. 
But look at this. Look how fucking badass that looks. Like, legitimately, all of its weapon, like, all of the weapons have chains on them. Like, they gotta hold that shit. Like, look at the great sword. Look at that. It's, like, all of this shit has chains on it, and that makes it look awesome. Like, let me check out the hammer. Look how badass that looks. This is what I'm going for next. But I gotta go farm up stuff. But uh, yeah. I guess that'll be it for this video. Hope you all, you all enjoyed. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe. You know, do all that good shiz. And uh, you know. Have a good day. And hope to see you soon.